What are touch points, and can you describe to us a successful case study of one? Yeah, so on a touch point side, so it's to me it's those moments of truth, it's mm -hmm. those opportunities of where that customer moment could come into play. From a process design perspective, what many companies will do is they'll say, okay, if I do have these customer touch points, what do they look like? When do they occur? So for example, if I'm dialing in for customer support, customer touch point is even the phone number that the people use. I know for me personally, what drives me crazy sometimes is they'll spell out the number, um, but yet I'm on a cell phone or I'm on a phone that doesn't necessarily have an alphabet associated with it, or I have to really kind of work doubly hard to kind of figure out what the number is. Mm -hmm. Whereas you could offer both. You spell it out if you want to be clever, mm -hmm. but also in, in parentheses, put the number itself that ease of access, it's that initial touch point that customer is gonna have, especially when they're frustrated to get in touch with the customer support team. The second, another touch point would be when the phone is answered. Is it answered by a human? Is it answered by a machine? Do you, do you have this lousy MIDI music versus something that's a little bit more informative? Or is there any kind of messaging? Is there tier one support, tier two support, tier three support? And then what's that follow through look like? It could even be a survey that follows after the call is done. So oftentimes they'll ask in advance uh, would you be willing to take a short survey and then they embed a survey after the fact or you may get a phone call back an hour or two later or even the next day asking recently you called our service department we'd like to know how that went and if there's anything we can do to improve. Um, hotels are really big on this these days. I, I know you can't stay at a hotel without getting that survey you know within a few days uh, of staying at the hotel asking for details. Same with airlines these days uh, and you can't can't fly an airline you know lately. I know United is a, a great example of this. Just about every flight I take I get that that email back that wants to know how the flight was and it breaks it everything from the check-in, the security checkpoint, right on through to the boarding the plane. They even ask if I wanna single out anyone on the flight for exceptional customer service. And then if I wanted to, I could even go a little deeper. So if I, you know, there's the initial survey and they say, do you wanna tell us more? Click on and it'll expand even further and go from there. Now with your background in the service industry, do you always fill out these surveys? I, you you know make what? the time to do it? So I'm a big survey person because oftentimes people ask me to create surveys. And as a result, of that, I, I pretty much, I, I guess I'm a survey junkie. I, I <laughs> tend to kind of jump in just on every survey I can, uh, in part uh, up due to interest, but on part to look at the construction. So what are the questions people are asking? Um, how are they phrasing uh, the questions? What's new? What's a little bit different? And to stay on top of that. So yeah, I do tend to, I'm, I'm a good one to answer those surveys. And I'm honest too, uh, because I do believe it's not just a matter of answering the survey and just checking yes or you know exceptional on just every checkbox down the box but if there is an opportunity for the company to improve um, I know that people do read these surveys on the back end and so as a result I will add comments uh, especially if there's an opportunity uh, that I saw for improvement